Preston Physics, Grade 11, Kinematics, Note 4, Vector Components. When we're looking at vector components, what we're actually thinking of is what two vectors have made up a vector that's on an angle. So looking at the first example we have, with 5 centimeters east, 53.1 degrees north, we have to think of what two vectors have actually made this up. We can look, one, we've gone all the way along the x-axis, and one, we've gone all the way along the y-axis. When we connect these together, we create a box, but we know we can move vectors to wherever we want. So when we move the vectors across, we're adding two components together. Really, we're just adding an x and a y vector together to create what we had before, our overall vector. That overall vector is just x plus y. It doesn't really matter if we do x plus y or if we do y plus x. Both of the vectors are going to result in the same overall vector, which is our a vector in this case. Let's now look back at the original vector that we had, 5 centimeters east, 53.1 degrees north, which we'd labeled vector A. We need to now find the size of both of our components for this to have any influence on how we're going to solve equations. So when we break it into our x and our y, we are creating a right angle triangle when we connect our dotted line. Now this allows us to use SOHCAHTOA to find out what the actual components of x and y are. To find the x component, we'll use cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, where the adjacent is equal to our x value. So when we rearrange, we get our 5.0 times cos 53.1, and we find that our a value is 3. For our y component, we're going to use sine, because our y is equal to our opposite, that's opposite over hypotenuse. When we rearrange this formula, we end up finding that 5 times sine 53.1 equals 4 centimeters. So our x and y components are equal to 3 and 4. Now when we're setting up a component problem like the one in our note, we have to set up each vector to look as though it's an x and a y, even if one of the values is 0. So we're going to draw our diagram and label our first vector to be d1, and our second vector will be d2. Now both of these vectors have to have an, both an x component and a y component, even if one of the values is 0. To organize these problems, we're going to set up a chart which consists of all of our vectors, the x components for them, and the y components for them. Each row will consist of a new vector, the final row being the total. Before we can actually solve for either, any of these, we need to set up what's positive and negative. In this case, we're going to make our north and east positive and our south and west negative. When looking at the first vector, we can see it only has an x, so it's plus 27 because it's moving east. When looking at the second vector, they're both going to be negative because they're heading west and south. If you want to move that x vector down to the bottom to create an actual triangle, that's fine as well. So to find the x, we need to use sine theta in this case because of the angle we're given. We rearrange the formula and we find our x value to be equal to negative 6.9. Again, it's negative because we're moving in the west direction. Now to find the y value, we're going to use cos because we need to find the adjacent value. Now in this case, we find the y value to be equal to negative 39.4. So when we add all these values together to find our totals, we get our x to be positive 20.1 and our y to be negative 39.4. We can now make a new vector with our x and y components. So we put our x in at 20.1 to the positive direction, which is east, and our y negative 39.4 which is to the south because it's a negative direction, and then we find our final vector. Now we can use Pythagorean Theorem and SOHCAHTOA just as we did at the beginning of this unit. We end up substituting in and finding that our final displacement is equal to 44.2 kilometers. We find our angle by using SOHCAHTOA. We're going to use tan theta again. 
And after we rearrange and substitute our values into the equation, we find our angle to be 63 degrees. Therefore, our final displacement is 44.2 kilometers east, 63 degrees south. For our final example, we're going to set it up for you and allow you to try the problem at home. What you need to do is set up a diagram showing all the forces that are pulling on the box. There are actually four in this case, not three. The first being 3.5 newtons west, 40 degrees south. The second being 6.2 newtons north. The third being 4.5 newtons east. And the final one being 2.1 newtons south, 34 degrees east. Now that we're finishing up our diagram, we need to create our XY chart with all the forces that are being applied. We need to consider both the X values and the Y values for each force, even if the value is going to be zero. After we add all of these up and find our final force being applied in both the X and Y direction, we can find both the magnitude and direction of the final force being applied to the box. We will take this question up at the beginning of tomorrow's class. We will also look at the special math notation at the bottom of the note, which won't be tested but is useful for next year. The hit list questions for this section are 8 and 21 to 23.